Alrighty, alrighty guys, so welcome back to another video. As you guys can probably tell, uh, switching things up from the usual truck camping, and you're gonna be doing a little bit of winter hot tent camping. Breaking out my hot tent that I got last year, did a couple of videos last year, and out again, finally getting it out again, and eager to get it out, do some winter camping, and we finally, 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 got some actual winter weather. We had some pretty crazy ice and winter storm coming in the last day and probably five, six inches of snow, uh, a lot of people losing power, lots of ice, lots of people getting stuck in lots of accidents. So pretty crazy, no joke. One of this last December, it's been like a month straight of not seeing the sun, just dark gray and gloomy and tons of rain, just 40 degrees. Just one of probably the worst December winter weather I've ever seen. And that's saying something in Michigan. So finally getting out, we finally got some snow and it's just so beautiful, just like an absolute winter wonderland. I just, I love winter when you actually get a lot of snow and it's just super pretty and you can actually do things outside. So I'm gonna get the rest of all my gear set up and start moving in, get a fire going and get settled in for the night. Let's do it, should be a fun one, stay tuned. One of the new pieces of gear that I've picked up, this is an ultralight micro camping cot. I've wanted one of these for a while and everyone's always making fun of me for my air mattress. So I did a little bit of upgrade this year. Um, do not have the air mattress. I, I've learned from hot tent camping a couple times, very important to be up off the very cold ground and be a little bit closer to where all the hot air is gonna be up at the top of the tent. And I saw this, this thing is really cool. It's super tiny, super compact, gonna be great for backpacking and other smaller camping trips. And I'm gonna get this guy set up and get in the tent and then I gotta start moving in. Let's set it up. I always think I'm gonna be relaxing and enjoying sitting next to a fire in the wintry woods when I'm hot tent camping, but it's just, it's a ton of this. And it feels like it's got a little bit of give, so I think it'll actually be pretty comfortable to sleep on. And I've never, this will be my first night testing and sleeping on this cot though. So we're gonna see how it goes. Brought a whole bunch of these longer skinny logs in. And as you can see, my little wood stove, it's really tiny. Probably only about maybe 16, 17 inches across. It takes a very specific size to fit properly in the wood stove. So that'll give me the perfect opportunity to test out Another tool that I got, I got this one for Christmas. Really nice little portable saw. This is gonna be amazing to keep in the truck and for all sorts of camping adventures. <laughs> Yeah, that is so much easier than trying to find tree wedges and stuff to break these things down to size. Pretty sizable pile of wood. It's inside here, the stove. Just got my sleeping bag, my pillow, getting dark real quickly. So next time I see you guys, we'll probably be when it's dark and I'm in there getting a fire going, hopefully. But yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Close that guy up and I'm in the hot tent for the night. You probably tell, it's nice and dark out now. Here in the tent, got the lantern, got my bed and everything made and ready. And I'm gonna snow quite a bit again, I can hear it pattern on the on the tent quite cozy in here but let's get this fire going Camper fully up, opened, lots of air flowing there. And as you might notice, a whole new damper for my chimney stove piping. That was one of the big issues I had last time I tried to take this out. Um, so I had the old piece of this, the whole top pipe just broke and snapped right off and then it wouldn't fit properly and it was shaking around a whole bunch. But this one is a whole lot more heavy duty. I feel a whole lot more comfortable with that, having that damper on here. I love this little glass glass side panel on this wood stove. You can watch the fire from the side. That's pretty cool. But it's starting to put off some heat now. It took a little while. Feet warming up. It is chilly in here. 
I'm a little worried. So I normally have in the past used tiles on the ground, but I tried it out burning it in here one time without the tiles and it got hot on the floor, but not like warm enough to really melt it. I don't think so I'm going to be watching that. Make sure it doesn't melt or burn my, burn my floor. Cause that would be a problem. A quick little hike man is it cozy and wow is it already in so much warmer in here that's actually crazy a big pile of wood i think i'm gonna get in and shut up for the night Woo, pajamas on and i'm rocking just an absurd amount of flannel tonight <laughs> oh this is nice this is what i look forward to when i'm hot tent camping this style of tent i love this canvas tent it's just it reminds me a lot of the yurt back in arizona just so peaceful and this time of year. I just, I love how you go outside. Just dead quiet, no birds, no crickets or bugs or anything, no frogs. It's just dead quiet and you look out and when there's this much snow just covering all the trees and everything, it's just, just so wonderful and peaceful and you get the smallest bit of light just reflects off the snow. So you just go out and all you can see is just the slight reflection on all of the, all the snow covering all the trees and everything. And it's just so peaceful and beautiful and amazing. Listen to the snow and the gentle breeze and the crackle of the fire. It is quite an experience in here. As always, I got a little ventilation window right here. I've got that open. That's right here. Letting in a little bit of fresh air. Just loaded up the wood stove, put a bunch of logs in there, and hopefully that'll last a while. And this is def so far by been by far the most comfortable night in the hot tent night in the hot tent last year i never really explained it on camera but one of the nights i did in the hot tent um i had a whole bunch of snow and it kind of caved in the tent and melted and seeped in and so i woke up and when i was on my air mattress no joke i basically woke up just floating on my air mattress it was a total disaster i've definitely had some definite struggles in this tent nice and relaxing but i'm gonna catch you guys in the morning with a big breakfast get another fire started and good evening i'm gonna get to bed i'll catch you guys in the morning Good night. Oh boy. Good morning, good morning guys. Uh, it's already after nine o'clock. I really slept in quite a bit. <laughs> It took me a little while to fall asleep, and then I woke up at about 5.30, and the fire was totally out, um, and it was really, really cold in here. So I got another fire going, and fell back asleep, and it's now after 9 o'clock, and yeah, overall, definitely by far the best night in the hot tent so far. And I haven't put any wood in since about 6 o'clock. Oh, we still got some hot coals. I might be able to resurrect it a little bit. Took me long enough, but I just got the fire going again. It's so beautiful. Still lightly snowing. It was snowing like all night. Probably got at least another, yeah, probably two or three inches at least last night. The fire roaring. Gonna be making up. Some more chocolate chip pancakes with my thimbleberry jam. Oh, and I totally forgot the syrup. Nice. I made this a couple of videos ago and it was just absolutely amazing. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Make some pancakes up. Water. All right, got to a pretty nice consistency. Break out the chocolate chips. First real meal on this wood stove, to be honest. Haven't cooked a whole lot, really just boiled water on this wood stove.
see if I can flip this without messing it up too much. Oh yeah. All right, pancake number two is on. They're taking quite a while, so I think I'm just gonna kind of eat them one at a time. Got the first one done. Looks really delicious. And of course, breaking out my thimbleberry jam I made in Copper Harbor. Gonna throw some more of this on my pancake and dig into the first one. It's gonna be delicious. Put a little of that jam on there. Oh man, does that look good. Alrighty, that looks amazing. Cheers. Wow. Mmm. Oh, that melted chocolate in there. A lot less messy with the without the syrup. It definitely could use a little bit of syrup, but honestly, it's still really, really good even without the syrup. Next level. Such a good breakfast. Oh, perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Pancake number two. It's a big one. I love this, that bright red jam and melty, melty chocolate in there. I don't know what it is but it is kind of cool just cooking on such a little wood stove in this little hot tent very satisfying i'm gonna finish up my breakfast and then maybe go outside for a little bit and then i gotta start working up on cleaning everything up and probably wrapping this video up real nice thing about winter camping though is real easy for dishes grab a chunk of snow and wash her all out nice and easy get all these dishes done Alrighty guys, got the dishes done and I'm starting to get everything cleaned up. It's gonna about wrap things up for this video. It's so awesome just to finally have some actual winter weather to camp out in and really, really excited. Hopefully next video I'll have another truck camping video out for you guys and hopefully I can get up north soon and maybe eventually get this hot tent up north. I don't think that'll be the next challenge. Really, really happy with all my new gear and really excited for the rest of winter. Got some really cool things planned, so stay tuned, tons more to come. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next adventure.